Yes, I am Mimi June. Hello. Woo! Um, I'm going to be doing a couple poems for you, and they're all going to be uh, really, really queer. So I hope you all are cool with that. Uh, I'm personally really, really queer, which is what our poems are as well. Um, and I, so we're here at She Growls, but I'm not a she, I'm a they. Uh, and I, I feel the need to say that because I sometimes feel a bit awkward about like female spaces inviting in non-binary people. But I am also very grateful that I'm here, so thank you very much for having me. Um, but yeah, that's important to me. Uh, and coming out in general is quite a thing in my life, as you might imagine, uh, and I do it a lot. And so this first poem is about coming out, and might as well get it over with, right? So it's called, um, what is it called? Gosh. <laughs> death of the Author, that's the name. And uh, the concept of Death of the Author is that as, as someone who writes or performs, you have to, uh, when, when you publish something or perform something, it, it becomes the audience's and no longer the author's. And as an author, you have to kind of let it go because you don't want to become like J.K. Rowling. That's kind of the idea. Um, which is true. That's very true. I very much agree with that. But at the same time, as a trans person, I feel like my words are often taken from me and twisted and turned into something really ugly, which I don't like. And so this poem kind of deals with that. And here it goes. Telling you, like eating a beautiful meal, digesting it slowly, then shitting it out and presenting it to you on a silver platter. Here, you can have it. Telling you and then again and again and over, telling you in slow motion. Stretched out over more time than it needed, like taking a ring and turning it into a needle, telling you and then slowly dissolving into the floor becoming less than invisible, untouchable, and so lonely. Telling you, then watching your face grow bigger like a balloon and disappearing. Telling you, tearing something beautiful out of myself, seeing it there, mangled, regretting it. Telling you, and then you telling me at the same time, then jinxing me to shut me up. Telling you, and you telling me you always suspected, taking ownership of this moment, letting you kill me, allowing you the privilege of my death so you can feel better, telling me I have no right to live, and that violence comes with being... Thank you. Um, yeah, 